We've learned tonight another inmate in the Richmond City Jail has died. This now marks the third inmate death this year alone, sparking major concern from city leaders. 8 News reporter Autumn Childress is live outside the jail. And Autumn, what do we know about this latest death and the investigation? Well, I put in several calls and emails to the sheriff today, but her office still being very tight lipped about this investigation. However, tonight city leaders are fired up now renewing their calls for an investigation. The war is on. You caused every bit of this, Sheriff. You caused this. Tonight, growing concern from city leaders about the Richmond City Justice Center and its leader, Sheriff Antoinette Irving. She's going to be held responsible for what she has done. This after three inmates have died this year, the latest two coming within three weeks of each other. Sources confirming the inmate was Vance Holloway. We're told he was found around 6 a.m. Monday and there were drugs in his cell. And what is going on in that jail? I have other things that I know that I've never shared. Councilwoman Reva Trammell fired up today, hand delivering a letter to Bob Mosier with the Public Safety and Homeland Security, now demanding an investigation. She says inmate deaths are only one issue. She detailed critical staffing shortages. Earlier this year, 8 News reported the jail was down 160 positions. She also says she's received firsthand reports about deputy assault. Oh, she fears for her life and she fears for the other deputies and for the other inmates. And tonight, new reports coming in about forced polygraph tests, questioning who inside the jail is leaking information. Trammell and other city leaders say they just want answers. Maybe she needs to take a poly polygraph test because I'm quite sure she would fail it. Now, the sheriff is an elected official, so she does not report to city council or the mayor. Again, I have reached out to her office several times today, but have not heard back. Reporting live tonight in Richmond, Autumn Childress, 8 News.